Hey everyone, hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be announcing a readathon in March. It is called Fierce Reads, a bookish tribute to International Women's Day. I'm going to get into the details of this readathon in the meat of the video, and I'm so excited to share this event with you. If you are new to my channel, then hi, welcome. Um, I, I'm Shelly and I really, really, really love books and reading and I have a special place in my heart for reading uh, literature written by women. <laughs> like it is, it is one of my things. Um, so if you also like reading or you like listening to someone talk excitedly about their reading, I would encourage you to subscribe, stick around. I also have a Patreon if you want to contribute to my channel monetarily. But otherwise, let's go ahead and get into the meat of this video. Fierce Reads is the brainchild of Julie at The Hungry Bookworm, the channel The Hungry Bookworm. I am going to leave her link down below. And I was kindly invited to co-host this event along with two other people, Sandy at the channel Miss Reads A Lot and Kristen at the channel Enter The Book. Wonderful ladies. I would highly encourage you all to subscribe to them. They are phenomenal, like truly, truly phenomenal booktubers, women, people in this world. And I feel grateful to know all of them. So th this is a tribute to International Women's Day. It's going to be running in March. So, you know, get ready, mark your calendars. I'm really excited. I have a bunch of books here to talk to you about. We have some prompts, we have a Discord. I will leave some of the linky stuff linked down below, like the Discord and things you'll have to click on. Of course, I got interrupted. So I'm gonna leave all the links for things that need to be linked down below. And I would encourage you to join in. So because it's International Women's Day, we have prompts and I'm going to go through that, but I also wanted to challenge myself to talk about translated literature and literature from all around the world. So I have some suggestions. I have some things that I'm thinking about reading in March and I'm excited to share them with you. Oh, and I will mention right at the beginning of this video that we do have a group read. It's gonna be Violetta by Isabella, Isabella Allende. I have not read any Allende books and I think that I will really enjoy her writing. So I would encourage you to pick that book up if you don't know what to read and read Violetta with us. I, I, I have no idea what the book is about. I just know it's Allende's most recent books and one of her more famous books that I have on my shelves actually is Daughter of Fortune. So just uh, putting that out there and I'm excited to read it. Prompt number one, pick a book by a fierce female author. Well, to me, the fiercest and most feminist author, the root, the person at the root of feminist literature is Virginia Woolf and her seminal essay, uh, a Room of One's Own. This is an incredible read. It's very short. And for me, it was life-changing, truly 100% life-changing. So we have an English, a British author. The next book is choose a book with a strong female protagonist. We're gonna go to France with that. And it is gonna be Jacqueline Hartman's uh, I Who Have Never Known Men. This was one of my favorite reads of last year. It's very dystopian and perfectly length. It's such an interesting and psychologically intriguing read. I loved it so much. And um, it does feature a really interesting protagonist. And it, in, and it tells the story in a way that's really fascinating. So this is my recommendation for that. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna choose for these prompts yet. For me, um, there are a lot of options out there, but this is what I would recommend for that prompt. Next is highlight your favorite female characters. So we're gonna go to Canada for this one. I love this book. Definitely one of my favorite books of all time. Love it so much. And that would have to be Anne of Green Gables, which features Anne Shirley. And what is wonderful about this is that it features a beautiful female friendship. You see the, the humor in this. It's very sincere. It's very honest. And if you haven't read it, or if you've like watched the television show and think you know what this book is about, dig into the book because it is more funny, more heartwarming 
than I had even expected it to be. And it's just beautiful. Oh, and this is by L.M. Montgomery. I'll leave all these books and recommendations linked down below. Next is Discover a Book by an up and coming female author. This is, I believe this author's debut. I don't actually remember, but it's um, Florence Adler Swims Forever by Rachel Beanland. I don't think she is a very well established author and I don't even think that many people have read from Rachel Beanland, but I feel like she's up and coming and we're gonna see more from her and she's gonna do great things. I have yet to read this, but I'd like to. And I've heard great things about this book. It's just one that I am excited to get to. Next is read a book that explores the bond of female friendship. I could have easily done the Anne of Green Gables book, but um, because it really does feature a beautiful female friendship. But instead, we're gonna go to Italy. We're gonna go to Italy. I've read two out of the four books in this quartet. And if you know me, you are probably already yelling it at the camera. Um, but this is Elena Ferrante's my, the um, Neapolitan Quartet. I wanted to say the My Brilliant Friend Quartet. No, the Neapolitan Quartet. I read My, Br my Brilliant Friend and The Story of a New Name. I love them both. So good. So different. Very sincere, in my opinion, and very honest and raw at, at times. Very good. Really, really good. Um, and then now we have uh, Those Who Leave and Those Who Stay, which would, be, which would be the next read for me. But if you're just looking for a book that is truly all about female friendship and the nuances and sometimes the weirdness and the awkwardness of growing up and being a female and what that means and all of that kind of stuff, this is a great series for that. Or what, from what I've read of it, it's a great series for that thus far. The last prompt is read a book based on a mythical character. So I have two for that. I think that in terms of like fierce reads, um, I think Cersei by Madeline Miller would fit that a little bit better since it has a female protagonist in this book. But I also have The Song of Achilles. So maybe I'll just Madeline Miller it up while I'm, while I'm reading uh, in March. And so those are my choices for, um, you know, a, a mythological character, a mythical character, not mythological. Okay, and then I also just have a couple of books that I've read that include just global and international literature and then books that I would like to read that are along the same themes. So a Scottish writer that is just brilliant is Muriel Spark and I read, oh, my doors are opening and shutting and I'm and I have read aiding and abetting which was brilliant like wickedly funny so sharp so good like so good so if you're looking for like a new author <laughs> who writes also very short quippy doesn't stay too long doesn't overstay its welcome kind of book Muriel Spark is your writer I also have read um because of the international uh, the international booker last year I read Balda last Boulder. Boulder. Last year I read Boulder by Ava Baltazar, which was great. This was translated. She is a she, she translated from the Spanish, I believe. Really good. Also short, easy to get through, very poetic. And um, I just I just really quite enjoyed that. This book. Then I have also fr translated from the Spanish. I have Tender as the Flesh, which is by Augustina Batstierra. Batstierra. I might read this in February because of another readathon. Um, and so I can you know, more talk about it more in depth. <laughs> I can talk about it. If I do end up getting to this in February, I can, you know, say whether I recommend it or not, but it's translated from the Spanish. And then I have from a writer who's originally from um, Iran and it is read and the book is Reading Lolita in Tehran. And this is a memoir and it's by Azir uh, Naf Nafisi. Azir Nafisi. And this is a memoir, a nonfiction book. So, I have um, all of those kind of choices and recommendations. I was trying to make it as like global as possible since it is International Women's Day. And um, I really hope that y'all join us. If you have any recommendations of books by women that you've loved or just like give a different perspective on the female experience or maybe feature a really, I really love female friendships, like the bond between women. I love when a book features that. I, it just really gets me in my heart. So if you have a recommendation for that, I would love to hear that in the comments down below, but I'm going to stop rambling. So thank you so much for being here. Please join us. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so grateful and um, I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.